Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, sometimes luxury, fragrances, and whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll put out a bonus video on Sunday, so I don't want you to miss any of them. So most of you all come to my channel to watch my hauls and also, you know, for styling tips and things like that. But today we are going to be talking about the foundation of those fashion pieces, which are your undergarments. So I get so many questions asking me about the bras that I wear, the um, shapewear that I wear. So today we're going to talk all about that. So if you are interested, then stick around. Okay, y'all. So before we get started, I want to go over sizing for reference. So the last time I got measured, I got measured at a 38D or a 30 36 triple D, but I like to go up a little bit in the cup size just so that I don't have any plunging or anything. I don't know. It's always weird when I get measured. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit skewed. They always measure me smaller, but in my opinion, I feel like going up sometimes a cup size can help everything to kind of like lay smoother. But I will say sometimes I do have a little bit of an issue um, with gaping and stuff like that, but I just like to go up a size. So I tend to go for a 36 triple D or a 38 double D um, when it comes to my bras and things like that. When it comes to my um, foundational pieces, I only wear one and we're gonna get into that. And I always get that in a size large or an extra large, just depending, um, sometimes you wanna have something that's a little bit more you know it's going to pull you in a little bit more and then if you want something that's a little bit comfortable you can size up so let's go ahead and get started with the bras that I wear every single day so the main question that I get asked is what kind of bras do I wear and these are the bras that I wear you guys these are the be tempted by walk hole bras okay I absolutely love these bras they are wireless though and um, this may come as a shocker to a lot of you all but again remember I did have that skin removal surgery so I don't my boobs are not low as you know as low as they used to be but of course I still like the support of a bra so these wireless bras work so well for me. I love that they have the sculpted cup. They look amazing under t-shirts. I think these are actually called t-shirt plunge bras, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I'll have these bras linked down below for you all. And um, I have this in a size 38D. And again, because it's wireless, um, you know, I don't have any issues with the cup gaping or anything. But when it comes to wire bras, I have to go up in size in the cup. So absolutely love these now they do have I would say a normal size strap it doesn't dig into my skin but sometimes this could be a little thin for those who have larger breasts I know when my boobs were much larger I preferred you know a wider strap but this one works just fine for me and I like this because it's easy to hide also I think you guys ask me because sometimes when I'm wearing like tank tops and things like that you can't see my bra and that's because these come with these little grommets here I don't know what these are called these little hooks so you can kind of make these into like a racer back bra. You just need to connect the strap. So let me show you how this goes. It's on both sides. One side has a hook and you just connect the two like so, if you can see that, right? So then you have more of a racer back bra. And I love these bras because again, they're extremely comfortable. They are kind of low. So like as far as the plunge. So if I'm wearing like a tank top or if I'm wearing like um, something that's a, you know, a V neck or something, you can't see these bras and they look extremely smooth under my, under my clothing. I'm wearing one today, as you can tell, like well, you probably can't tell, you know, there's no lines or anything. It's very smooth. Um, one thing about these, if you do not get your bra size, you will have a lot of, um, as you can see, you see how this does that? So when you fill this bra out, you won't get this. But if you get too big of a size, you're going to have that bunching underneath your like tighter shirt. So just make sure you're getting your right size in these. Um, and again, this is a size us 38d and it's the same size in a U in the uk sizing as well so these are the bras that i wear every single day i literally only buy them in black okay <laughs> because 
why do you need any other color bra? Um, so I love these. I live for black undergarments. So this is my favorite bra, again, by Waco, but it's the Be Tempted brand under Waco. I will have these linked down below for you guys. These are amazing and they hold me up just fine. Um, of course, if you need a wire bra, you know, this is not... This doesn't have a wire, but Waco has several different kinds. And I think the Be Tempted line does as well. I want to show you guys the inside of the bra as well now that we're here. So you can kind of see your boob just kind of sits in there. But even though it's structured, it's not hard or anything. So this bra is amazing, as it says right there on the tag ultra soft now okay. on the rare occasion i will wear a bra that has a wire in it um for like everyday kind of wear sometimes you know like for a night out and the things like that but when i do because my boobs kind of sit up now which is so odd um i don't like to wear any type of molded cups that have a wire um unless it's like a strapless bra and we'll get to that because they make my boobs just seem like a little too much on display if you will with, with that bra that i wear and like now like my boobs are on display if I had like my cleavage showing and that's no wire. So these are the other bras that I love. Now these are by Elomi. I wore these bras uh, when I was larger and I still wear these bras now. I absolutely love these bras and they are very pretty. So if you're a girl who doesn't like those plain bras, I don't care. I like a very plain bra. As long as it's black, I'm good. Um, but if you want a little bit of detailing like you know, some lace or something like that. The Lomi bras are amazing. I have this in cream, um, like a light cream. I don't do the nude tones too much. Um, and then I have this black one. I have some that have flowers and things, but I don't recommend those because you can see those underneath your clothing unless you're just wearing them, you know, for lingerie type of purposes. But this bra here is amazing now this will strap you in this has amazing support but again this is unlined okay so you don't get a molded cup it's a very soft well the lace is not that soft but you can see there's no like molding there and it has a little bit of lace at the bottom that I really love so it kind of sits and lays really nice and flat towards the body and then you have a lot more hooks in the back. So this is a four hook, okay? So if you have, you know, the back fat and all of that, let me hold it right. So if you have the back fat and all of that, you can see that's going to cover a lot more. Um, but I still don't have any issues with that bra either, but this one is more of like a tighter fit. And also this is in the size 36 triple D. So like I told you guys at the beginning for the reference, 36 triple D and these are so nice. So like, let's just say if I'm wearing like a nice blazer on a night out and I need a little bit of a fancier bra, I'll wear this. Or if I'm wearing like a see-through type of top, you know, I may wear this if I want some lace or something peeking out. So this is a great alternative and it does have wiring. Um, and I love it. Very, very, very comfortable bras and they hold you in really well. The, the straps are really padded. Um, and they of course have the adjustable um little strap there but these you cannot convert these into like a racer i mean unless you buy something additional to add on to the bra but absolutely love this bra too but on a regular basis i'm wearing the wire free every time i've made a video nine times out of ten i'm wearing the wire free be tempted waco bras okay so now let's get into strapless bras now i have two here um they're the exact same but this is my old strapless bra look at how small my boobs were like I've gained weight, so I've recently purchased a new one, um, but I'm actually coming back down. Can y'all see in the neck area? <laughs> but yeah, so this uh, was the bra, and this is the bra that I always wear when I'm wearing a strapless bra, and you guys ask me, what strapless bra are you wearing? This is the best strapless bra hands down. Before I had my skin removal surgery, I wore this and it held my boobs up so good. Um, it does not slide down. But one thing I will tell you, you will feel like you are holstered in. Okay. This is a heavy duty strapless bra. It's nothing to play with. Okay. So this, this is the size that I used to be. And I was a size, um, 34 F. Okay. So you can see this is what it's looking like. Now I never wore the straps on this because if I was going to wear straps on this type of bra, I would just wear 
the other bras that I showed you, but this is my strapless bra and it's every single thing. Now I've recently read up and I think they have changed this slightly. So this is a fresh one. Look how big the cups are. And I just went up one size and this one's huge, you guys. So I have to send this back because this, the cups are too big. Okay. So now I went up to a 36, a 36 G and it's so much larger. Okay. But if you do get this brand new, this is what it's going to look like. And I want to show you with the straps attached. Of course, the straps are detachable, but this is what it looks like. So this bra is called the Lux Strapless Bra by Curvy Kate. And like I said, the best strapless bra hands down. But if you are looking for something that's going to be like super comfortable, maybe not. Okay. Um, you can feel this. It has boning. It has wiring. There's boning here. Of course, it's wired. Um, and then you have like these vertical lines here they do a really good job of like really holding your breast up of course on the inside this is what it looks now like. one cool thing about this bra and how you know that it's serious is that you don't even need that little silicone piece here they do have it in the back so that it's not slipping down but they don't have it in the front and that's because this bra does not play any games once you have this bra on it is in place and it is sitting but i have read reviews about this bra and they say that it's not the most comfortable to me anything that i don't have to keep pulling up it's comfortable for me because i don't have to worry about walking five steps and then you know adjusting my bra and i noticed that a lot of people when they are wearing strapless bras they're always doing this and i hate that so that's why i love this bra um i will have this link down below as well i've never been able to find these in store i have been able to find the wireless uh bras in store and i was able to get those at nordstrom but these you have to order online as far as i'm as far as i know you if you may be you know it may be different where you are but this is also also a sexy bra even though it's a plain black bra you can see in the middle there it has like a um little bow and like a little button so it kind of gives like a tuxedo vibe this looks amazing under a blazer as well and it's just a great bra i mean you're really strapped into this thing and you get the three hooks on the back of this one so it holds you in really well in the back and you can see it's not a lot of stretch in this okay this is a very like structured tight bra but if you have heavy breasts this is what you need. Unfortunately, I don't I don't think that if you have really large or heavy breasts and you are looking for a strapless bra that's going to hold you up like a regular bra with straps, I honestly don't think you're going to be able to find that in something that's super soft and pliable because I mean, it the gravity, you know what I mean? You have to be able to have something that can hold that weight of the boob. So, absolutely love this bra highly recommend um, I'm gonna actually just get a newer one in the same size because this one's too big but I love this bra it is amazing and like I said they go all the way up to a K cup so if you have larger boobs this is the one for you if you don't take anything else away from this video and you have large breasts you absolutely need this strapless bra the best hands down and i have tried ones from lane bryant i have tried them from victoria's secret i have tried them from target i mean so many different ones and no this is the only one that i would like spend hundreds of dollars for <laughs> but this was only like i think 60 something dollars so it's not too bad so last but not least i'm always asked about the shapewear that i wear and i've mentioned on a video before that i always wear the spanks and they have the boob cut out i will insert a picture here but i have found a more affordable version and they work just the same so what i tend to do i have about five of the same thing so i have um the Spanx. i wear those usually when i'm going out like on a night out and then on a regular everyday basis when i'm just putting clothes on to rip and run around 
our these, which are by Assets. And this is a sister brand to Spanx. And these are sold at Target. So it's the same thing. You have the bust cut out here. And then it just goes down into shorts. Now, I get mine in a size large. Okay. So this is a size large. And it looks super small. But, of course, you know, it stretches out a little bit. So I, lo I love these these are what i wear on a regular basis like every single day and i would say like on here it says that the shaping level is a three and i think that it does hold you in the reason why i wear these every day is because i swell within like an hour so a lot of the times i may start off a video and i'm like looking how i look you know and then 30 minutes into filming, my stomach is swollen due to the surgery that I had. So it's really annoying. This is something that really does give me the support that I need. Otherwise, I will swell. So this is why I wear these every day. Um, and this is what you guys see under my clothing all the time. It's the exact same thing. I wear my normal wireless bra and then I'll wear this on top um, and your boobs are like I said they're cut out so the shorts are like mid thigh I mean I'm really short so they can come down to my knee but I think these are supposed to be like mid thigh shorts and it's very comfortable very breathable it even says breathable here <laughs> on the um on the tag here it says breathable ultimate shaping lighter than ever so i highly recommend these i let me see what's the price on this so this one is 38 dollars in comparison to the spanx which is like 78 dollars so you know it's up to you what you want to do i feel like these can kind of hold you in a little bit more than the spanx um but to, something about the spanx technology it's just a little bit different. I can't quite put my finger on it, um, but these are just great for me, like I said, every day to give me the support that I need because let me tell you something, the swelling is just no fun. It is the worst part about all of this. So I love these so much. Highly recommend these. So what I'll do is link the uh, Assets brand, which again is a sister brand of Spanx. And I'll also link the, link the Spanx one that I wear down below as well for you guys. Okay, y'all. So I've revealed all of my secrets to you. If you've ever seen a video and you've been wondering what bra is that? What shapewear is she wearing? I've covered it all here in this video. I really hope this was helpful for you all because like I said, I get so many questions about this and I don't mind answering it, but I felt like I should have a video for a reference point for you all. I will have the sizing down below um, and again, links to every single item that I've mentioned today. And like I said, I hope it was helpful. If you have any additional questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye y'all.